Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Mac My Channel TV. Fresh off the golf course, been playing today with good old Ruben Stein, fellow Newcastle YouTuber Ruby. Been playing with him the day on the golf course, so check out that video we'll be dropping tomorrow. It's a good laugh, and we'll talk about some good, interesting Newcastle United topics going forward. However, this video is all about two wonder kids linked with Newcastle United. Now, one of them is on the verge of signing, the other is heavily linked, and we'll get into the heavily linked one soon, but We'll talk about, first of all, young Australian wonder kid, Garang Kual. Now, I did a video on Kual a couple of months ago saying that he'd be coming to Newcastle United when the, the rumours first started to break. That's came true now. Romano, Keith Downey, Sky Sports are all reporting that Kual is on the verge of joining Newcastle. A deal has been agreed in Princeville for the 18-year-old. Last time I did a video on him, he was 17. Since then, he's turned 18 years old and made his uh, national debut for Australia. He's made his debut for Australia now for his, for his country, so he's actually tipped as an outsider to go to the World Cup this winter. So that's a big, big step for him. And it's a big, big step to come to Newcastle United. Now, a deal has been agreed. Apparently, personal terms are going to be get sorted in the next week or so. Koala is due to fly into the Northeast to discuss those, but he is one for the future. Now, it's likely, very likely, that Koala will go on loan immediately to a European club, and there is plenty of European clubs that do want to take Grand Kual on loan. Newcastle will be looking to get him into the first team within a couple of years. He is only 18, he's on high money. He's linked to be on around £25,000 a week, which is massive for our, our youth setup. You know, we've had, never had a player come anywhere near that sort of money at that age. So there's big expectations on this lad, but there's big, there's big potential. I've got to shout out Dan Ashrath for getting this one over the lane because there's a lot of clubs, majority of them, around Europe, the top, top clubs, sniffing around Kual and wanting to sign him. Newcastle have got that done. They have beat a lot of suitors to this talent and he's really a one to watch. Like it says in the thumbnail, as I've said before, yeah, we love these good old nicknames and the next guy's got an even better one, but Kual is meant to be the Australian Messi, the Aussie Messi, yeah? Because he had a good game against Barcelona the other year. They call him the Aussie Messi. But he is class and he does look like he has that style of play where he's small, he's agile, he bursts through from his, from his own box, from his own halfway line, from his own half, sorry, not his own box. And he drives at defenders, takes them on, takes on four or five players, gets into the box, scores or creates a chance. He's a, he's a really, really bright talent and it's, it's class that we've seen him. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how he gets on in the future. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. Probably goes somewhere like Germany. The Bundesliga on loan, maybe even France. But a chance for him to impress there, and then a chance to come back to Tyneside in a couple of years' time, maybe even one year, and crack on and see what he can do. Because by God, we know we need some more forward options. Another option Newcastle are exploring, and this one does get us massively excited. Because Qual, yes, it's it's good, it's, it's exciting, but that's further down the line. But Newcastle, £50 million for Mikhailo Mudrik. Mikhailo Mudrik, the Ukrainian international who is at... Shakhtar Donetsk has been massively impressing for Donetsk. He's already scored and assisted in Champions League games every time they play them. He looks a massive, massive talent. He's literally labelled the hottest prospect on the European market right now. He is. He is right up there as the next big thing. They are calling him the Ukrainian Neymar. The Ukrainian Neymar. All right, so it's a big deal and it's big money. Big money from the off because, look, he's doing it for his national side, Ukraine. He's doing it on the biggest stage of all in the Champions League against some top opposition. So this would be massive. If we could get if we could get Mudrik in, that would be crazy. It would solve a lot of our problems. If we had Mudrik as the winger, wow, that would just be nuts. It's a wild, wild signing if we get him. I'd be buzzing with this one. I mean Arsenal have been linked with him for years. Real Madrid are really after him. So if we did manage to get him, it would be a serious coup. It's a great, great signing if we managed to get him. Now let's have a look what the article said a couple of days ago on uh, iNews. Eddie Howe does have a serious interest in him. He's watched him several times. De Zerbi, who's now Brighton manager, De Zerbi, who's took over, Roberto De Zerbi, has took over Graham Potter from Brighton. He was his manager at Chateau Donetsk and he said, personally, I will take my life and my career as a failure if Mudrik does not go on to become one of the best players in the world because he has that ability already in him. He says he puts his reputation on the line and you'll consider it a personal defeat if Mudrick doesn't reach the very top of world football. So that's a massive statement. It's a massive line of um, praise as well. Mudrick is described as skillful, deceptively strong. So he's stronger than he looks, which makes it more difficult for defenders who might think, if I don't let his pace get past him, I'll have an easy day. 
wrong. He will cause problems. He is strong. He is quite uh, athletic in that sense. Very quick as well on the wings. Very quick player. And like I say, he's been dubbed the Ukrainian Neymar. What a nickname. You know what I mean? Don't know where they got that one from, but it sounds good, doesn't it? And most believe he'll come a household name soon with several Premier League clubs sniffing around him at a Shakhtar Donetsk's price tag of around £50 million. So it is a lot of money, but this kid's going to go right at the top if you believe everything you hear from scouts, from managers, from coaches, players that have played with him, against him. He's the real deal, this guy. Now listen to this from CBS Sports, and they're not the only people that say this, but this is a direct quote from them. After Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr., Mudrik is the best player in Europe in his position. So apparently he's the third best winger in the world. Huge statement again by this one. If someone wants to buy Mudrik, they must spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money and respect our club and presence. So obviously they're going to say stuff like that. The officials at Donetsk, their eyes will be lighting up with dollar signs and can't wait to cash in on them, I imagine. And a senior source at Donetsk has said it is absolutely certain that Mudrik will join a Premier League club within the next 12 months. So like I see, you've got Liverpool, Arsenal, Newcastle, and you've got Everton, Brentford also sniffing around there. So if we, need, if we want to get him, we've got a chance. Top scouts have watched Mudrick around Europe and they've said that he is tailor-made for English football and every English club knows it. He ticks every box technically and his age and relative inexperience means he's only going to get better. He's a long way off being the finished article, but he's got all the attributes and is undoubtedly one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting prospect in European football right now. So Mudrick's had a big, big 12 months really where he skyrocketed his reputation and that came majority against Real Madrid. Last November at the Bernabeu, he got man of the match, earning a standing ovation from the notoriously difficult to please Real Madrid fans. Um, inevitably leading to Real Madrid being a, a top suitor in securing his services. However, the player sees a move to England as a natural step and wants to test himself in what he described as the biggest and best league in the world, the Premier League. So he is only 21 years of age, Mudrik, he's Ukrainian, he's five foot nine, where's the number 10? So yeah, very exciting times for Newcastle United if they can get players like Mudrik through the door, following the likes of Gual, who is more down the line in a couple of years time, but Mudrik would be expected to go in to that Premier League squad and compete straight away, if not start. And for 50 million pounds, you'd expect him to start and hit the ground running. Like I say, Sean, he can do it on the biggest of stages in the Champions League. Yes, Shakhtar Donetsk's league, nowhere near the Premier League, but I think with the coaching of Eddie Howe, with a bit of a development, remember he is only 21, this guy's going to have a very bright future. Let's hope it's at Newcastle. Let us know what you think in the comments below with the links to Mudrick, big money, big potential, Gual as well on his way to Newcastle for personal terms, a deal agreed in principle. Dan Ashraf and the rest of them working hard behind the scenes to improve Newcastle United's squad, the youth team, everything going forward in the future. Happy days. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.